guys, welcome back to our next piece in our virtual art gallery. This piece today is something we all love. Oh, actually, I love this. And today is going to be Love. That is the name of the painting. And what I'm wearing right now is one of my favorite things. I love video games as well as art. I love my beautiful puppy here. I love my life. I love my art. It's, there's so many things I love. What do you love? Do you love things? Do you love cooking? Dancing? Painting? What do you love? So I've already said some of the things that I love doing. But with love, it doesn't have to be one way. Because I know that my parents really love each other very much. And in that way, I don't know about that type of love. Not at all. But I do know the love of something. The passion, you know, the feelings of, of what you feel when you, when you do something you love. Because I bet you feel happy, you feel like you want to do it, you, you, you really, really, really love doing it. See, that's the love for something. When you have the emotions and when you, ha and when you put effort into something. That is when you love something to the point. And there's also another one I would like to discuss. Let's say that you love the environment so much, or you're a gardener, for example, and you plant a fresh baby plant. You know, it's just, it needs to be watered every, sorry, every day, twice, twice. And you have to really not forget to water it because let's say one day you forget that baby might die. So that also, for that type of love, it requires dedication, effort, and work. See, each type of love requires you to have a certain emotion or a certain thing that you have to do to keep that love alive. Now, this painting, if you look at it, tries to capture science and emotions. For example, love, and tries to put it together in a way that they both kind of complement each other. As you can see here, remember, if I think of emotion and I think of the color red, that red color reminds me of passion. If I look at sometimes, now this changes from person to person, maybe your type of passion is an orange or a green, or a blue, or a yellow. It doesn't matter because it is your emotions. And when you think of an emotion, you can choose the color. That's why there's so many diverse colors. You know, with that, and you could see this heart. This, this is the example of love. But you could see it's kind of geometric. And you're probably thinking, what does geometry or science have to do with love? Well, if we think of love, love is actually something that happens in the brain. It's actually very, very important. Because let's say you want to do that thing you love. I want to play video game or I want to dance. Your brain releases endorphins that makes your brain feel happy and really enjoys doing it. Let's say you want to do gardening. It makes it releases endorphins to make you feel happy and you really do enjoy doing gardening. So that means the brain is logical and the heart is emotions. So science and emotions are in both areas, even inside you. And that's pretty crazy. I gotta say, but I'm looking at it. I'm gonna stand up. And come here, come here, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wanna show you how gradient the colors are. If we look at here, we can see that the orange is orange and it slowly transitions to yellow. My favorite part is right down here. It starts off as red, and the red slowly blends into orange, and it slowly blends into yellow. It's to show that the emotions that you feel sometimes, sometimes they change. And then sometimes they go back to the original color. That's why with this everything kind of blends together. 
Because again, science and emotions blend together like peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> in a way. Uh, but, but I mean, you know, you can't eat this painting. I just want to say, you can't eat it. Please don't. I'm going to have to make another one. And if you guys come closer, well, again, you could see these little cuts, little straight lines there. And it's to show that even if you get hurt, even if you get cut, your body will just regrow and sometimes will develop off of that. As you can see here, some of these cuts have green in them. They, more colors branch off of it. So no matter what happens, you can always go, get past it. Okay, okay, let's, let's go sit down right now. Okay, we're sitting back down. This was the fourth piece in our art gallery called Love. Now, I'm gonna have to sadly close the gallery, so sad, but I will see you tomorrow and learn about the next art piece. Now, I can't tell you because it's actually a very, very secret, secret, secret. Was that too many secrets? I think so. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow.